me it was his detail, you know, his attention to detail and could teach you the A to the Z of rugby league. His man management and the way that he made you feel as a young person, the motivation that he gave you, he could take you into a room and tell you that you're not playing in a semi-final, one that he really wanted to play in. Uh, and somehow it persuaded you that there was still an opportunity, that there was some development to be had and that it was going to be good for you at long term and you'd walk out of there like a million dollars. Monahan's after it, it's part of it. You know, when I went and played under Tony at Warrington, he, uh, he still taught me things about the game that I didn't know at that stage. So, um, you know, he's, he's had a great career in coaching and, you know, long may it continue. The Lee Breers this time, he goes for the one point. He gets it. it is all about it players expressing themselves and, and not being afraid to make mistakes and I use a lot of my philosophies uh, of what Tony uses and uh, I, I thank him for that because hopefully I'll, I'll become as good a coach as he is one day. What I really like about it, the game's not just an equation to Tony. While I was out of the game I'm, I'm willing his team to do well. His team were offloading uh, and playing and, and you're just thinking that's, that's rugby league right there. I think you probably underestimate the, the things that Tony brought in coaching that are still getting delivered today. Um, you know, the culture we had throughout my, my time at the Rhinos was, Tony was a, a massive influence on that and, you know, the early, the early part there, the early 2000s that uh, sort of set the standards for the, for the good period of rugby we had. What was special about Tony was his technical knowledge and his in-depth thoughts on the great game. I know I speak for my teammates when saying I think he improved every player. I know I would not have been the player I was without him. I think we were still using his core principles along the year left, which ultimately led to the golden decade. Before he even took over, he uh, initiated some one-to-one -one meetings, more so to get to know us and get to know our background and who we were. And it sort of sparked something with me. And I wasn't just going to be working with a coach, I was working with somebody who cared about us away from the training ground. It opens my eyes up to how to play rugby league and uh, not just that, actually, you know, the whole perspective about the game off the field and uh, changed me as a player. Yeah, believe it or not, I was playing with him at St George in Australia and uh, so I was playing alongside him, that's the, the earliest memory. Intelligent, smart, slow. Uh, not many slower than me, but he was slower than me. Uh, but a competitor, he would compete on everything and uh, took that into his coaching. Thanks for all your help and support over the years. Not just at our time as coach and player, but beyond that, I love working with you and I'm very happy to call you a friend. You know, I'm, I'm really appreciative for everything that he's done for me. Um, whilst I talk about what he's done as a coach and everything, um, he's made me a better person. He's made me a stronger person. Our friendship has, has grown from that player coach to, you know, a genuine friendship. I owe a great deal to Tony Smith for the journey that I went on. Um, I thought he was a good person. I think, you know, um, watching the way he handles different personalities in the group and the way he, um, you know, looks after people and, and man managers, I think, you know, he's probably the best I've seen in the game and, um, you know, his ability to be able to, you know, bring out the best in people and, you know, create a winning culture and, um, you know, to get to be able to see that firsthand and see why he's had all the success that he has, um, you know, it's a credit to him. You know, he's really taught me a lot about leadership. Um, you know, I'm very privileged that he you know, made me the captain, but you know, what he's taught me on and off the field and, and you know, how to, um, you know, go about my business day in, day out and be a better person and be a better leader. And, um, you know, like I said before, he looks at every aspect of your life, not just your rugby. And, you know, I think that filters through not only on the field, but off the field as well. So, you know, it says um, a lot about his character as a person. Hey, Tones, just want to wish you um, all the best for your 500th game. It's been a, a pleasure and honour to be a part of a small part of your journey. Um, it's no surprise with the success that you've had um, watching you go about your business day in, day out. You know, it's a credit to yourself and the person that you are. And I hope the boys can go out there and, and get a good win for you on your 500th game.